Yo, Wiz Khalifa was on Ebro in the morning coming up with what songs up? on Velour oh, Snorkbox. I can't believe what you guys did that. that. Yo, Wiz, is that how it happens for you usually? Yeah, you know, music is uh, everywhere, even in her nose. Thanks, Wiz. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we, uh, I heard um, recently that you stand to make close to half a billion dollars potentially on your weed strain. Is that... I is that think, just speculation, or is I there some real analytics to support that? I think that's pretty accurate. Really? Yeah. Over what period of time do you do you uh, guys you sit with your your business your finance what are your financial advisors and mm-hmm, go over this sort of thing? Mm-hmm. It's like um, you just look at it as far as the plants go, and um, I started with two plants, and then in um, in six months those two plants turned into ten plants. And then we cut those 10 plants, and those 10 plants turned into 100 plants. And then 100 plants turned into a whole room. Over what period of time? Before the year's over. Wow. Mm-hmm. I was at a party. They offered. They, was, they were bragging. I had my little piece of weed. It was Saturday night, Father's Day. Saturday night before Father's Day. And he was like, we got that KK. <laughs> it's real smooth. It's a great high. Yeah. You, you keep some on you? You got some for the team right now? I got you. You got a little, you just yeah. keep a little something? I'm scared of it. Ebro, chill, man. Why? Supposedly, it's really smooth. The high is really great. It's I know, but you smoke. sound like it's a narc. Like you're intense. You're old now. Because usually, like, I stop smoking yeah. because every time I smoke, I just want to fall asleep. Nah, like they that. say the KK is they had the, the Khalifa Kush is. It's the real stuff. It's the real deal. It's like five hour energy weed. You just get up and you're like, like active. <laughs> it's the reason I'm here. Wow. And look, <laughs> I was going to say it's early and he's all like bright eyed and ready to go. Yeah. So it's, Pretty it's is that what you smoke every day? Mm-hmm. Your own your own Kush. Mm-hmm. Um, so do we bring up the whole history here, Rosenberg, of you and Wiz Khalifa? Because there was a time period where um things weren't so bright and bushy, but Wiz has moved on and you've moved on. He and Amber are doing great. They're 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 co parenting and loving each other and being an awesome family. I gotta say, when she was here, Wiz, it was she was just awesome. I was singing his praises. Oh, you saw oh, you, you saw you the did. conversation. Yeah. She was singing your praises. Mm-hmm. It was tight. Um, Rosenberg, <laughs> what do you have to say, man? Well, I mean, you know, I haven't gotten to see you in person, Wiz, at all. I reached out to Wiz, um, and I totally understood why he didn't really uh, feel like communicating with me very much. I was pretty aggressive. I, I did the sort of sucker move, though I understand what my logic was. You're flip-flopping. Uh, you're flip-flopping. No, 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 I'm not. Listen, you're flip-flopping I think flopping Wiz, right now. Let me talk, Ebro. Every time I have a moment with someone, you try to jump in and ruin it with your <laughs> I just want you to be clean and direct. All right, let him talk. Okay, I'm going to be very clean. I do feel bad because I've always had a nice relationship with Wiz, and I always respected him as a person. And I understand why when I jumped out in defense of what I felt was defense of Amber at the time, why he would then not really mess with me. I totally get it. At the same time, you know, when, when breakups happen, moments like that happen. So I'm, I'm hopeful that he would understand it just came out of love for his uh, the mother of his child, and we can move on because I know he's a great dude. I hope he doesn't think I'm a piece of garbage uh, human being and that my heart was in the right place. But, um, you know, I've reached out, and I, I don't want to have any awkwardness with Wiz. He's a good dude. Wiz, do you accept? Was that an apology? Uh, wait. Wait. And and if I and if I hurt you, you felt like I betrayed you. I do apologize. I, I meant to be loyal to Amber, not to be crappy to you. So if that is the case, I definitely am sorry about that. That's an apology, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's Wait, it. That's all you got to say. Yeah. So you straight moved on. Don't even want to talk about it. That's cool. But obviously, it's not cool because you're just saying it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, so I, I don't think I, I don't think Wiz. Do you forgive him? Let me ask you that. Yeah, completely forgive him. Yeah. Um, could you could you expound on your thoughts at the time? Um, Rosenberg, you're somebody that I consider a friend. Friends don't do that. Rosenberg. Um, I understand. I mean, listen. I mean, I don't think. I think it was clear that I I was closer a closer friend of Amber's than Wiz, but he's right. We were friends. I mean, we always had a nice relationship. So And you pick sides, I, so I'm, it's cool. I'm emotional. And you know, did you hear what he said? He said you pick sides and it's cool. Yeah, it was but it was, you know, it was a lesson learned. Honestly, they're the first friends I've ever had get divorced. <laughs> so um So next time you go mind your idea way to handle it. Next time you go mind your business. Well, I was dragged into the business just so you know. 
I mean, Amber was emo at the time. As I made the joke in the interview, Amber was up and down all over the place, and I shouldn't have ridden along with a woman's emotions during divorce. Because I guess what I did? I played myself. Oh, so so you get the butt. I feel bad, but at the same time, I know where my heart was, and it wasn't intended to mess up Wiz's life in any way. But I totally get being annoyed and upset, and and thinking that I was a douche. So Bitch. I can't be mad at him. I, I I totally get it, but my intentions were were right. It just was executed poorly. And uh, congratulations, you played yourself. More or less. So you know good. I, mean? I thought that was healthy. What do you think? Yeah, Lost I mean, you good. know, it was good. Wiz, he's been he's been wanting to talk to you for a minute, so it's been bothering him. A I lot. had a dream about it, Wiz. In the dream, <laughs> I came and we hugged and we made up and I felt better and then I woke up and I was sad. <laughs> he's not lying. <laughs> He doesn't care at all. <laughs> yo, this is most. Hi. Yo, this is even more awkward than the Nicki Minaj. Is it? This is a little bit more awkward than the Nicki Minaj. Well, but I just I don't understand. He said he forgave me, but you obviously didn't. You're just saying you forgave me because you're sitting there. No, I think he did. Yeah. yeah. I, I, looking at his face, you're not here. You're in Bristol. Looking at his face, it looks like he forgave you, but it's kind of like it is what it is. Am I saying it right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to speak for you. Yeah. No. Absolutely. But are you one of those Wiz? Are you one of those people like when things like that happen? Is it kind of like at this point you and Roseburg could never be that cool again? Like it was, is that how you look at it with friends? Because I'm no, sure you've been cool. through this with other friends before. No, we cool. Um, I just know how to treat the situation. Um, when it happened, I don't feel like I knew how to treat the situation, but now I know. Yeah. Right. Mm. So, um, through the process of marriage, divorce, <clears throat> having a child, figuring out how to be a great father how to be a great parent and partner, like you seem like a very different person. Mm -hmm. How much, like, can you articulate how much you've changed and, and your awareness of just yourself and how you, um, it's for a, other dads out there who may be going through the same shit? Yeah, um, <clears throat> it just took a lot of putting the, um, putting the responsibility on myself, mm. you know, and not waiting for, um, for a reaction to just happen, but to really, make that happen if i wanted a positive um relationship with you know amber and just the whole situation i had to make sure of that and i have to like every day wake up and have that on my mind and be like that's what my real goal is so um just realizing my my responsibility and that is what really changed it you know i'm always gonna be there for bash and things like that but it's hard uh going through a breakup in general, but like to do it in front of people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, And then there's a kid involved. Yeah, I mean, my son, like, that's life. You know what I mean? But like, everybody's not on TV when you're, when you're like going through a breakup. You know what I'm saying? You don't got like, it's not the same. So for me, it took a lot of trying to, like really stepping back and realizing how big the situation was. Cause I, I'm a Virgo, so I like shrug everything off. And I, I couldn't really shrug that one off. So no, I do. I had to really look you gotta at deal it. with that yeah. one. But I will say, I even told Amber when she was here, like, I think it's so dope that you guys are so open just about how much you guys care about each other and, mm -hmm. and how family is important, how you guys co-parent, how you guys big each other up. Yeah. I think that's a great example I for mean, a lot of people. I mean, that's who we started out as. So yeah. Just like that we broke up. That's just a little piece of it. But in the end, it's always going to be about the love. Do you, um, do you find... I mean, it's probably too soon, but you know, dating for you is probably difficult. Mm -mm. As no, not at all. No, not at all. Mm -mm. And it's cool, like you and Amber talk about everything, and not or then really. you don't get into all that. Cause you know, she's a woman. Women don't want to hear that type of stuff. Right. And I'm not a douche. I'm not gonna throw that in her face. face right, right. I keep. I mean, men too. definitely don't. I'm sure you wouldn't want to hear reverse either. That's not fun. Um, actually, I do because I want to know who she's dealing with. Because uh, like you know, guys are dickheads. And it's like, I don't want her dealing with some weirdo. So if she's dealing with a weirdo, I'll be like, you know that nigga's weird, right? <laughs> I, mean, I just have to. Like, and then, you know what I'm and then also, you're, you know, if she's dating, she has your son when you're traveling. So yeah, you got to know. I who mean, she's son. very respectful about that, too. She don't just be having people around my kid. And I can't control that. So I don't even. That's just an understanding that we have. But I just I speak up. I would like for her to speak up and do the same thing, too. But you know how women are. They're like, that bitch is whack. Right. You're like. All right. Is she, is she, you <laughs> so just it's, that, it's that little fun thing that we got going on. I want to get on uh, this record you got, your first single, and then I want to come back and talk about um, 
the I guess the acknowledgement and salute Fetty Wap is giving you right yeah. now. So let's get this single on teed up for the people. What's the single? Yeah, Go. Uh, me and Lil Uzi Vert. Shout out to Philly, mm-hmm. PA all day. You know, I always shout out like the younger people, everybody coming up. He been on tour with me and Drama for like two or three years. And um, so it's it's his time. So I figured I'd do a single. Got I put Uzi him on the spot, on tried to have him spit bars. See, I like that kid, but he wasn't ready for he that wasn't premiere. Ready. He's he young, wasn't he's ready. young. He'll get it. He'll get yeah, it. He's gonna build you, his confidence. Up. What do you think about where things are with the the artists coming up? Well, and it's not all of them because there's definitely yeah. rappers out here who spin bars. Mm-hmm. Like it's not all the young yeah. kids, but there is a, a what's the kid? Lil Yachty, mm-hmm. Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah. They're like, yo, we're not rappers. Mm-hmm. We we just make we're artists or we're just rock stars. We call it mumble rap. Oh, so y'all got a name for it? Yeah, me and my homies. I mean, it ain't no disrespect to the little homies, but like they know what's up. They say they don't want to rap. You know what I mean? But it's. It's cool for now. It's going to evolve, and I feel like those artists, if they want to be around, they'll they'll figure out the next thing to do. But right now, that's what's popping. You're so understanding. Word. Yo, you're mad understanding. I know. Kid. I'm an OG. You're officially like an OG now. Man, man, I can't be acting crazy. Was there was there a day that you like it clicked when you was like, I got to be more understanding. I got to be more responsible. Um, not really. Like one day, it's just like life. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah kind of compare your lives to people and you see what's important to you and what's important to other motherfuckers and then it's like how you can help them as opposed to like competing with them who um Snoop really embraced you early in your career Always. so that was a good example for Always. you on some like OG's really yeah. helping somebody guide so you probably took some some of that blueprint and yeah. you're starting to share the knowledge yeah, definitely um Snoop showed me a lot of as far as being a coach because he came from the position where he never thought he was just going to be the one. He was always supporting. He was there for Dr. Dre. He was there for his homies. And then he just became the one. So, you know, he just... Do you, he just Wiz, do you think that Snoop is also... I don't know. I sort of think that your character in hip-hop could be similar, meaning that you're always a presence. Whether you have music out or not, you're just a part of the culture. Do you see yourself in sort of a similar way? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's a blessing to have that, but... It takes a lot of hard work, and Snoop works constantly for that. So definitely, I'm I'm getting there. And you guys are going on tour also, right? Yes, we are. The High Road this summer. Yeah, yeah that tickets tour are is available. Be... Ticketmasters get the VIP packages. They're sick. You guys get to smoke with me and Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> is there, so when I go to a Wiz Khalifa show now in a state where um, it's legal, let's say I'm in Washington State or Colorado, yeah. those are the two. Are there more now? That is uh, DC. DC. Um. Yeah, those are the recreational states. Those are recreational. Mm-hmm. Is there a so I could buy a Wiz T shirt hat? I could buy KK two? Hmm. Or that's not that's happening. The, the tricky part because you can't legally take KK state to state. If it grows there. Oh. So it grows in Colorado, so yeah, you can okay. get it there. So if I go to the Wiz Snoop show in Colorado, mm-hmm. KK will be yep. I, I could get my popcorn, yep. give Shout me out a to hot River dog, Rock. and some KK. Yep, absolutely, one hundred percent. Amazing. That's cool, right? We got to talk about the culture. Like and the amber sure. ice, too, because I sell that. That's an extract where it's pure THC. Wait, it's called amber ice? It's called amber ice. So you made sure that amber's getting a paycheck, too. Not only the check. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> it was a dead call. I mean, she <laughs> is. She is. It's for Bash. It's yeah. for Bash's future. It's for Bash's future. There you go. There you go. There you go. My bad. I don't, I don't. It's got crazy. My money's just got crazy. Eat. We all eat. Yeah. We all eat. <laughs> Wiz, yeah, we, wanted, we were watching the videos from the culture class. Can you mm-hmm. tell us a little about, about how it all went down? It was fun. I had an amazing time. It was something that... Um, they didn't really expect us to do that well. So going into it, I wanted to be prepared. And um, yeah, we worked for like, maybe we practiced for like two weeks before yeah. we went over there, did our homework, and uh, we lost, but it was fun. Yeah, you didn't expect that Drake dub, that Drake dub coming. I did. Oh, you knew it was coming? Yeah, we knew. We, like I said, we did our homework. So you knew I? We knew everything. We knew all, we, we we knew everything. It's tough too because, you know, when it comes to them sound clashes like that, the, you know, them dance hall kids, that's what they do. Mm-hmm. So they know how to. Yeah, it was good, man. I mean, I feel like they won because they really OGs in it. It was our first first try, so yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't meant for us to win. You but you, you competed well. Right. Um, You heard Fetty Wap's new song, right? Yeah, yeah. Shout how's out that, to How's that make you feel? I love it. Yeah. Like, do you feel like there's a generation coming up now that's really 
they they studied your blueprint touring merch like they studied your melodic sound like mm-hmm. they studied all that yeah absolutely um it's good for our generation to have somebody positive to look at and for Fetty to like come out and make a song you know that kids could sing you know what I mean that like that's just it's it's the ultimate like respect you could pay an artist and then like an, our community as a black man people usually don't do that mm-hmm. you know like people usually hold each other down or but for him to step outside of himself and uh, kind of make me an icon is um I appreciate that y'all gotta do you guys communicate you communicate we, we see each other like here and there okay and it's always love just like genuine like love like I always give him a hug because I love what he does but I never got to you know really chop it up you know you're also part of the Suicide Squad soundtrack. Yeah. How, are you part of the movie also? Or just nah, the soundtrack. soundtrack. That would be so ill if you had a little cameo. I would have been tight. I was too busy though. I was getting Wiz Khalifa high. Um, <laughs> yo, you're like the How soundtrack no god longer... right now after that Fast and Furious. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah, yeah. That Charlie Puth record. I was. Yeah. A, I mean, they hooked it up, man. That was a good place to be in. Did you know how big that record was? Did nah. you anywhere in your spirit know that that thing was gonna nope. go like that? And even when it came out and it was like number one. I was like, yeah, it's just because it's on the movie. And it kept going. It kept going. And going. It kept going. I was like, guess it's kind of hot. <sighs> yeah. Rosenberg. Um, how is your former puppy, now I'm sure full-size dog? I know you went in, got another dog. How's uh, dog dad life? Uh, it's good. Just dad life in general is sweet. Uh, I got a studio in the crib, so I just run around the house with my boys all day. I spend way more time in the pool than I ever did in my entire life. The pool's the best. <laughs> yeah. Me and my daughter stay in the pool all weekend. Yo, Bash loves the pool. So it's like all day barbecues, pool, you know, get a little bit of work done. So and now I'm back on tour. It's... So I'm going to bring the dogs on, on the tour too. So if y'all come and see me and Snoop, you can see the puppies. Where, where's the, um? what's the date for the New York area? What August is it? 9th. August 9th, yeah, yeah. I'm there. And where's it at? Jo- oh, oh, it's gonna, gonna be, be lit, lit, man. Me and Snoop, we designed a whole whole show. It's a whole experience for fans and people, and we're going all out. So, what is it like a carnival or something? Nah, it's not a carnival. Janae Aiko's there, Casey Veggies, and Kevin Gates. They're gonna open up, so uh, they got their fans and people who love their music. But me and Snoop, we're sharing the stage, so it's like he's performing his hits, I'm performing my hits. We're doing new songs together. It's it's a it's a whole production that we made together specifically just for this show when do when do we get any of the records when do you guys start putting the music out his album comes out on july 1st there's gonna be some some music for that from there and then um i guess like throughout the tour we're just gonna drop stuff like just as keep, as keep we, putting it out yeah yeah look man you're in a great space i salute you and look yeah. for for dads moms out there you guys are like one of the awesome blueprints for co-parenting and, and yeah. making it making it happen yeah. i mean everybody goes through their problems but to see y'all continue to fight to get it on good footing mm-hmm. and then both be excelling in your own careers mm-hmm. how you feel about her new stuff the love, love lines it. and the, i love uh, it i love it i always encourage her to do bigger and better things like the clubs and stuff like that is cool but i always seen her as what she's doing now and um it took a little bit like finding the right people to line it up for her but now that she's there i feel like she's really like Coming She's gonna to excel. Own. She's yeah. gonna excel in this. I space. walked into some building. I forget where I was at, and I seen a mother hat. And I was like, "There she go." Like, yeah, yeah. It makes me feel like a little happy to see that. Do you? Uh, would you ever get married again? Nah, never. In nah, life. nah. Marriage. I don't, I don't really agree with the whole Western civilization idea of marriage. Uh-oh. Eastern philosophy. Yeah. Philosophy yes. talk. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's real, bro. It's true. It, it is, is true. I've been through it. They so brainwash you. It's, it's Shani, complete brainwash. They do. Shani's married. Monogamy's been married three times. Yeah, but, yeah. but my because situation it, is he different. He probably felt like he had to. Like, I did because I got a lot of kids and yeah. this is what she felt like she needed for security. Absolutely. So I did it for her. Yeah. Not for me. I still don't believe it. It's but not, if that's what you want, it's not real. But I wouldn't do it again. Y'all want to do, yo, can we do a, a, a what did I call, what's that called? Everybody does a podcast called Eastern Philosophies, <laughs> where you guys can like get together and talk about how to have, so what is the philosophy now? What is the philosophy now that you? I'm still searching. You're still on the journey. Yep. Searching. Still on the quest. Yep. All right. Fair enough. Because I know you don't want to get on this radio right now and talk about having other children, because that's not a plan. Is it? Are you going to have more children? I don't have a plan. 
Don't have a plan. Yeah. yeah. You might want to tread lightly with that one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ebro, as you know. Ebro, yeah. He could Johnny, you, you having me. more kids? You never know. Yeah, you Life is me? long, bro. Life is. is long. It really is. A lot of love to give. Ex- I like this. <laughs> Ebro, you say this. Wait, what'd you say, Rosenberg? You always say, if you had the money and the means... You would have multiple kids with multiple women. Guess what Wiz Khalifa has? The money, the and money the and the means. Yes, he does. I'm Listen, people just want to, and look, when you when it comes down to it, everyone just wants to be loved, give love, receive love, and be prosperous. That's what everybody wants. Word. And however that manifests itself, um, in whatever your relationship style is, whether it's, you know, uh, an untraditional way of doing things or a traditional that's what people that's the outcome for real so that at the end of the day we all be sitting around having some great food and swimming at the pool yep I got two projects out Khalifa and Rude Awakening um, they're available right now right now wait I thought it was just one Khalifa is the first one I dropped that earlier this year that's but that's been out that's out that's now. been out yeah. Rude Awakening that's me and Juicy J right yep and that's a colla- that's all collaborative records mm-hmm. all original Let's play a record off of there. Well, let's play all something night. else. All night? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Wiz Khalifa's on Ebro in the morning. It's always good to see you. Yeah, no we'll doubt. Be at, we'll be with you, Jones Beach. Yeah. August 9th. Come Just have me the some KK road. on deck. Yeah, the high road. Get tickets. Ticketmaster, get the VIPs. Shout out to the Taylor Gang, Sosa Man, Chevy Woods, Raven, all the producers, TM. We just signed TM. Shout out to TM. Oh, Juicy. Wow. Ty, of course. Juicy's a great songwriter, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. I did. Everybody. Okay. Thank you guys. So is that Ty Dollar Son? That Ty Dolla Sign oh, pretty good. Oh, he's about to drop Beach House 3. Oh, he is? Mm-hmm. That's going to be crazy. I heard there's a... um. A, a, I just uh, did a record for it last night. It's lit. He's how, like, how far away is Beach House 3? I don't know. But the song that we that we did last night is, is really tight. He's I'll play it for you in a second. Wiz Khalifa, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for him. <laughs>